Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. Today we're going to be learning about reflections and uh, finding coordinates of uh, reflections of different shapes. And so let's start off with an easy one. Suppose that you have a graph like this and you have a point R and there's this red line down there below and you're asked to reflect point R across the red line. Now the red line happens to be y equals negative 1. Sometimes you will be asked to do it across an actual um, line in slope intercept form. So uh, what we're going to need to do is to reflect this properly we need to find out the exact distance that r is from the reflection line. And so it is exactly three units from there. So on the other side of the reflection line we have to put the new point three units down and so that is what we call r prime with a little a little apostrophe on it and uh, looking at the actual points r is negative three two and it changes to um, r prime which is negative three negative four so you notice the x didn't change at all but the the y did now let's try a new one this one's a little bit more difficult. Suppose that you have a triangle and you are asked to reflect the image across the x-axis. And so first we need to find out where the x-axis is and I hope you all know where it is. It's right there, the green dotted line. And what we're going to do is we're going to reflect this like a mirror image of the RST triangle on the other side. And so we need to find exactly the distance of each point on the other side of that reflection line. And this is what it looks like. And you'll notice that S matches with S prime, R matches with R prime, and T with T prime. And they're the same distance away. All of the lines are the same uh, distance. All of the angles are the same as well. Now, if we were looking at their individual points, um, the new uh, prime points are 3, negative 7, 3, negative 2, and 6, negative 2. And um, there's always some cool patterns when you're dealing with, with um, reflections. And so if you look at the, uh, the x's, they actually don't change. The x value does not change when you reflect across the x-axis. The y's, on the other hand, they turn opposite when you do it. And it's only for the x-axis. Um, now we're going to look at a harder one. Let's suppose that you had this triangle RST and you were reflecting it across that green line which happens to be y equals x. So you're trying to do it across there. Now this one is is difficult. You have to find the exact distance that r is from the the green line and then move the r prime the same distance across but it has to be at a perpendicular rate. And so this line is perpendicular. And so uh, the way that I sometimes count in this situation is I will count diagonals. Um, how many diagonals does it take R to get to that green line? And so then I would put my R prime on the other side. And so you do that with all of the points and it gives us this shape. And so if you look at it, it indeed looks like a mirror image of the triangle. Um, and so the, uh, the points on this uh, are 7, negative 3, 3, negative 5, and 1, negative 2. And uh, just to look at a little bit of a pattern here, if you look at the x's on the original image and the y's on the new image, they're the same. And if you look at the y, or the, X, the y on the original and the x on the new they're identical and so they just flip-flopped and that occurs when you are reflecting across y equals x it's kind of cool well anyway that was a short lesson on reflections um, i encourage you to watch it again if you needed to check on that um, but it's just a matter of practice and uh, really kind of looking at uh, different examples of reflections and how they work all right well Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.